everybody! This is Daphne from Scruff and Create. Welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to share with you my newly completed mini album featuring Graphic 45's Let It Snow collection. So I'm going to start by giving you some of the dimensions. So this album is 10 and a half by 8 and a half by 2 and a half. And that's the outside dimensions. The pocket pages themselves are 8 by 10. So here's my cover. This is the signature page for the collection and I did a few things to pop some elements. I fussy cut this from uh, one of the pattern papers in the collection, in the 12 by 12 collection. And then um, there's two of each design pattern. So I fussy cut this off the second of the same pattern and put it here. Both of these elements are elevated with chipboard behind them. And I just use bits of chipboard that are left over from when I make albums. I prefer the chipboard on my albums because it creates a more rigid um, structure for them. If I was making cards, I'd probably use foam because you can compress them when you put them in the mail. But for the purpose of albums, I like the chipboard. That's a tip I got from another crafter. Um, right here are two fussy cut and elevated uh, stamps. And again, they're backed with chipboard. On the side, this is actually from the chipboard pack, and if you buy the collection from us as part of the bundle, you're gonna get some coordinating ribbon. This is one of the coordinating ribbons. Okay, on the back here, um, I just loved this, but it was so much going on on the cover, I couldn't use it, so I decided to put it on the back, and it's very flat, which is the other thing I like to consider when I'm um, dressing the back of the book. So these are die cuts, and so is the let, let There Be Snow. This is a sticker, okay, from the sticker pack. I love the snowflakes. I think they're really pretty. And so I just created this little collage. Um, you can see I wrapped the spine. And let's go ahead and take a look inside. Okay, here we go. So there's lots and lots of ephemera cards, both in the pack if you buy the bundle, but there's a lot of cut aparts in the collection pack itself. This is an ephemera out of the ephemera pack, and so I'm using it here to hold everything together nice and tidy uh, with a magnet. And then on the inside is a nice large pocket, and I've got this large photo mat, and there's enough paper to back both sides. These are two ephemera cards, and there's uh, room for journaling on either side. There is a large photo mat in each one of the pocket pages. And this is page two. I created an insert. I used a strip from the border page of the 12 by 12 collection. I think that looked really nice. And then here is the same uh, border piece, but it's from the eight by eight collection pack. This is an ephemera card that I cardstock backed and used as a design feature here on top of the pocket. And then here we've got um, two large flaps and there's plenty of space for uh, photos on the front and back. Here I've got two simple flaps. Now here I cut out um, an ephemera card, the inside of the ephemera card, and so you'd be able to place, and I go over this in the construction, place a photo in here, and I just put this in here to remind me to to show you that it's open-ended on one side. I'm not gonna pull out each insert. They're all the same with the blue on the front and back. Okay, and then this is a new um, feature. I haven't done an album with this feature before. I thought it was really fun. It's, it's kind of like a flip, and I've done flips before, but I hadn't done a flip that wasn't a cascade. And as you can see, as you're closing it, they just lay right on top of each other. So they're graduated sizes. There we go. I was having a hard time getting that to open. Um, the graduated sizes so that when it's closed, it looks like this. Now in the ones that I had done before, you would see the waterfall feature. So both of these basically do the same thing. And it looks, I think I just need to um, go back and uh, go over my score lines a little bit so it uh, <clears throat> opens a little easier. But I like the design and I love the frame in a frame. So there's lots of room for photos here because of the flip. Here we go again. Now this is where on the other one I had created that frame here. I left it open for journaling and photos inside as well as, you know, outside. 
Here is a stamp that I fussy cut and a die cut behind it. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I think this burgundy red is very pretty. Okay, and then we've got a nice insert here again. Room for journaling. Oops, this is supposed to be closed. There is a magnet here, uh, so it opens to the left and right, and then we've got this very nice large pocket. So I've got a couple of ephemera cards in here, so they're decorative and have room for journaling, and this very large format uh, photo mat that goes inside the pocket. That's it for Let It Snow Graphic 45's latest collection. Oops, my tape is letting go. I might have to put a little glue on that. Okay, that's it for now. Um, thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, my next album is going to be uh, Yuletide from Blue Fern. It's another um, Christmas collection, so I'm anxious to get started on that. But that's what's coming up next. Um, if you shop with us, we very, very much appreciate it. And I just want to let you know, as of today, October 13th, we have Art Glitter Glue back in stock. I'm going to send out an email to you guys to let you know and send you a couple of reminders, but it's back in stock if you're looking to stock up before the temperatures drop and we can no longer ship. If you would please just take a moment to hit the like and leave a comment. It really helps us a lot. By leaving comments and hitting the like button, um, it gets mixed into the YouTube algorithm and then that helps promote us to other viewers so that um, we can find more like-minded uh, crafters like yourself. So we really appreciate that. You don't have to say much. Um, just a little comment. Hey, thanks. Hope you have a good day. Things are going well. Um, we really appreciate it. So again, this is Daphne from Scrap and Create. All of the tutorials have been released along with this walkthrough. So if you want to make one of your own, it's all ready for you. Thanks again. Bye-bye.